And we've been tracking this storm all morning long, really for the past few days, because it's track, of course, going over Cuba and now strengthening to a category four in just the last few hours. A huge concern this morning is the storm surge. And um, meteorologist Candace Monticelli has really been explaining this perfectly to us, because for us here in Michigan, storm surge, we don't really know what it is and how it's created, but you're really kind of mapping it out for us this morning. Yeah, we want to break this down so you understand the combination of these high winds and water producing this life threatening storm surge that is going to come off of Hurricane Ian here. So as we break this down a little bit further right now, Hurricane Ian is a category four. This is an example of what this will do as we move this forward. So that category four hurricane comes with 140 mile per hour wind speed. So as we move this forward, going from a category one, two, three and four, you can see what kind of damage this does, starting with that category one at 95 mile per hour winds. And as we continue to move this long, that water is going to continue to push towards the shore and it's that movement of the wind pushing that water onto the shore that is the storm surge. So as we keep continuing to that category four, this gives you wind speeds upwards of 130 to 156 miles per hour. And that you can just see the sheer strength and damage of that wind and water combination. So this is where Hurricane Ian will be giving the highest impacts from that storm surge six to 12 feet of water on shore from areas south of Tampa to Fort Myer and still damaging but lower storm surges around surrounding areas all along the coast. So really that life threatening situation.